Damn. Good morning, guys. Lightning looking pretty good. Um, it's about 8.20 in the morning. Today is Friday, April 13th. Um, today we're going to be doing some chest and triceps. I had to drop off my mom, drop off my little brother at school. Well, drop off my mom at work, drop off my little brother at school. Later on, I have to pick them up. My little brother is actually going to be playing for a province. He's going to be playing for the province of Aber oh, Alberta. Alberta. And he's going to be playing hockey. He, so he's going to be playing either Ontario or, or um, Ontario or Manitoba, something like that. But you guys understand, he's going to, okay, so he's going to be playing for Team Alberta. So it's going to be pretty cool. He's really young. He's only like 10 years old, so it's really fun for him. And um, I'm going to either be dropping him off there or just bring him to my house after school or actually after I supervise the children at the school because I usually supervise during lunch. Um as a part-time job or actually that's my full-time in a way um, my part-time is at Galaxy Line because I don't get hours every single day that's what I'm gonna do then later on I gotta hit the gym so I gotta do chest and triceps about 12 to 15 minutes of cardio I usually do afterwards abs I do every second day now because of my cutting routine just the way it's been working out if I do it every day now it's kind of not really hitting it with its full extent but really that's gonna be the day for today guys I know slightly actually is pretty good I'm feeling lean. I have some water weight, you guys could probably tell. Yeah. A little bit of water weight, but I am pretty looking pretty lean. So, that's good. But, anyways, I'm going to go make my meals right now. I'll show you guys what I'm going to be making. Um, exactly what I'm going to be making, so you guys can see my macros and whatnot. Like I said before, I don't measure it, but I do watch as to what I eat and how much I eat. And I do track that mentally by just honestly looking at what I eat and how many meals I have and whatnot and stuff like that. But I'll show you guys exactly what I'm cooking, making, and all that good stuff. lots today guys right now currently at the bacon got five pieces of bacon five eggs for the scrambled eggs we got here some ground beef cooking as well that over there is going to be for the vegetables and not the fruits <laughs> just the vegetables i'm going to be cooking i believe broccoli and carrots i still got to cut them but yeah i know that's a lot of ground beef a lot of that is going to be for my meals but there are there is going to be some of it for the family as well i do cook for a bit of them you know as well you know, if I have some extra or leftovers. So it's always nice to have food ready to go, ready to eat. For the eggs, all I put was really butter. I'm not going to be putting any salt or any of that. I am going to get a lot of sodium already from the bacon. And I do not eat any carbohydrates. So I do not eat bread, rice, or pasta. The only carbs I get or eat are from the vegetables or from sauces I do put into my ground beef or into any meat in general. The main sauce, if you guys follow me, for new subscribers out there, I do use honey garlic. It's my favorite sauce in the world. No other sauce can replace that. I can have other sauces like barbecue sauce and all that, but honey garlic, honestly guys, prime. 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10. You guys will love ground beef. Ground beef. You guys, honestly, if you guys had some honey garlic, or at least my type of honey garlic, the way I prepare it, you guys will be in heaven. Trust me. So it turns out I do not have that much broccoli. I only have one little broccoli thing. So I'm going to have this many carrots <laughs> for all my meals. gonna be getting a time-lapse thing I know there's a way to do it on this camera I just got to figure it out once I do that it'll be a lot simpler than just doing the little clips showing you guys oh 
ground beef almost done or <laughs> it's about to steam my vegetables. I'm just gonna put time lapse, it's gonna make things simpler and I can record other things throughout my day. But the eggs and bacon are looking pretty good. Just finished. I maybe overcooked the bacon. They're a little, yeah, they're, they're crunchy. Really crunchy. But I know you guys wish you could have this bacon right now. Six weeks and one day out. Those are the meals for today, guys. Ground beef with honey garlic, broccoli, and carrots. A lot of carrots. So for breakfast, I already showed you guys. I got my bacon and eggs. Got myself an apple. Um, if you don't know already, I have about four of these a day. It's about 800 milliliters. I usually say milligrams. Milliliters of water. Um, yeah, four of those a day. So that'll be really helpful for cutting down. So I, since I am leaning out, um, I'm holding a lot of water right now. So I think I am 161 or 162. Uh, obviously, you could cut down water really easily. You just have to cut down the sodium, which I am going to be doing in my meals roughly four to five weeks out. I'm six weeks and two days out or one day out. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear that, my cat's like screaming. Should be fine. <laughs> but anyways, I'm six weeks, six weeks and two days out. And obviously I'm not too uh, bothered with the sodium or with, because with bacon there's lots of sodium in it. With carbohydrates, I've always been, they've, all, they've always been really low or none at all. So of course, I already told you guys, no bread, no rice, no pasta, stuff like that. Um, what I do want to say though is thank you to all the new subscribers I've gotten these past two weeks. I've gotten almost 100 subscribers in the past two weeks. So um, if you guys are tuning in, thank you very much for the guys who are already here and already have been watching my videos. Thank you guys as well. Um, there's obviously more content coming every Sunday. There's a new vlog. You guys know that, I believe. I've explained that in another video. It's a new vlog, new episode every single Sunday. And then every Wednesday is a progress and flexing video to show you guys how I'm looking throughout that week and how I am getting better every single week towards the show. See you, Patrick. Hey. Yeah, yeah. It's gas time. Just dropped off my little brother and my mom to the gymnastics place that he was at with the school. Now they're gonna be headed to Twilliger, which is a hockey rink close by. Actually, it's not close by at all. It's like a 40 minute ride. So, done for that. Now I'm gonna have my meal. Then I gotta meet my friend, Sonio, at the, at the tribal place. We're gonna be trying on some cool stuff, see how it turns out for the shoot that I'll be doing on Sunday. Just got my protein about two days ago in the mail. I got myself. Here, let me show you guys a box first. It's just bodybuilding.com, you know, typical kind of things. It's cool. What I saw was really cool is actually the Live Fit um, advertisement because I know they are somewhat a growing company. They're obviously well grown now. It's a clothing company if you guys don't know. Yeah, so it's cool to see that. Uh, so, what I did get is the typical performance way. Uh, protein, ultra filter concentrated whey protein complex. It is 50 servings, 22 grams of protein. I can't really see that. Oops. Five grams of what? Let me zoom in. It's gonna let me. Should focus now. Yeah, five grams of BCAs and three grams of glumantic acid. So glutamine. If you guys kind of see there, if you guys want to pause the video or anything, check out what's in it. This is what I've been using for the past year, year and a half. Love the protein, great brand, great taste, first off. And because I know a lot of proteins out there um, have good stuff in it, but don't taste very good. And since it's vanilla, I could really mix it with anything. Um, strawberries, bananas, just anything. That's why I prefer vanilla over like chocolate or uh, a flavored one outside of vanilla because you can't really mix much with anything else except for vanilla if you get vanilla. How are you guys liking the outfit? Wearing my typical Christian Guzman, Christian Guzman. Long shirt, tight on the sleeves, of course, and just some black pants, just slid down pants. Not as tight as Guzman's. Guzman's is like, might as well wear yoga pants, but um, he knows how to pull it off, you know? I think I'm pulling this off pretty good. 
looking decent. Uh, about to head to the place to go. <laughs> I'm about to head to a place close to downtown in. I'm gonna do that again. I'm about to head to a place to try on some clothes for the shoot on Sunday. There you go. What I am wondering is, since I am trying on tribal stuff, if it's like First Nations or uh, Métis or something like that, because I am from Canada, um, I am Filipino, so I do know that there's tribes for the Philippines and whatnot. The tribal people live more so up in the mountains for the Philippines. For here, I don't know, right? So I am excited to see what I am will be or what I will be wearing, because I know tribal stuff can get pretty exotic and whatnot. Um, could be I could be holding like weapons or anything who knows right but I, I am excited to see what I'm gonna be wearing and I should be there in about 17 minutes says on my GPS so if I'm honest when I first got in there I did not know what I was getting myself into um, there's lots of like interesting things but like things that I never thought of in my own personal life um, but what I found super cool honestly like a lot of things, when I really looked into detail, a lot of those things I actually really do like. So I like anime, like costumes and whatnot. I really like fairies and like, well, I'm not like, I'm not Using being kooky right now, but I like, I like the way they're created, um, swords, um, all that steampunk style. So a lot of what they have is actually a lot of what I personally like. Um, and I think it's more so for a lot of people that do like those little things if you like anime or anything you guys would like the store um, I believe the store the address was 8118 uh, Gateway Boulevard if I'm not mistaken if if I am mistaken I'll be writing it um, on the video right now um, once I got in there I was on it I was just waiting for my good friend uh, Sonio to be, he's gonna be the photographer taking the pictures um, I was just waiting for him, uh, just looking around, you guys are kind of seeing the stuff that I was seeing. Uh, honestly, super cool. Like, if I had the money, I would buy a lot of things from there. A lot of things. The rings were cool. I want to buy a sword. Honestly, I'm telling you right now. They had an elf sword. <sighs> it reminded me of Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, guys. Um, there's just tons of stuff, honestly. You guys gotta check it out for yourselves. Like I said, 8118 Gateway Boulevard, not mistaken, I'll write it in there. And with um, the clothing that I'll be wearing, you guys saw on the card, I'll show it, a, I'll just take a picture and show it right here. Um, as to the clothing that I'll be wearing, it looks more so barbarian style. By yourself after. Introduce yourself, Corey. Oh, hi, I'm uh, Corey. I'm uh, Lewis Mayhem, doing uh -huh. crazy fashions. And where are you guys located? Uh, well, I sell primarily through Sanctuary here in the city, and okay. then a store called Atlantis 2000 in uh, Saskatchewan, and uh, festivals and stuff, other nice. places, whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Remember how to tie it up and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah, so 
That's nice. Yeah. There, now it doesn't drag. It's awesome. Oh yeah. Just tie it around myself. I don't want to drag. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Or if you step in the other way too. It's pretty insane. Oh, it pulled in from my the, face. Uh, so uh, it's yeah. the combo of the other two outfits. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, so off in the Okay, so this is um this is my Thank company. You. So all the clothes is from my fashion line. Okay. And then uh yeah, it's, that's the Facebook. You already have that anyway. Yeah. And yeah, be sure to check it out guys. Lewis Mayhem. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Or yeah, is it Twitter? Ah uh, no, I'm not that good. Tumblr. Tumb Tumblr. Okay. Yeah, I don't do much on the Tumblr. I'm not oh, yeah. gonna lie. It's mostly <laughs> so, the Facebook and the Instagram. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, everything will be posted in the description below if you guys want to check them out. Do lots of cool costumes and uh, if you guys want to check out some new things, try out new things, be sure to check them out. Oh, it's a long, long trying out of costumes. But it was good, really fun. I mean, amazing store. Uh, people are really friendly. Everything, like, honestly, guys, you guys already heard everything, all my explanation and whatnot about the place. But I'm saying it again not only the people there are friendly, I mean, everything there is awesome, awesome, awesome. You guys gotta check it out. Be sure to check it out. You better check it out. Any of you Edmontonians watching, Jaegers, go there. By White Ave. A lot of you Jaegers go to White Ave. Go there. <laughs> oh, and lastly, I forgot to thank uh, Surya for the video photography, the video for helping me record when I was trying on those outfits. So thank you very much if you're watching this, Surya. Um, so he's not only a good photographer, a good videographer as well. If that's, I think that's a word. Videographer sounds like a word. Guy, big Robert, back at it again. Probably forgot something. I think he's just making sure. <laughs> oh, oh, how's it going, Robert? Hey, vlog. How you doing? <laughs> Looking good. Thought you forgot something. Yeah, my keys. I need to go grab. Them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> go get them. Yeah. <laughs> Robert, had a pretty decent workout, hey? Oh yeah. It's kind of weird, hey? This camera, I just do this. So you're just like, it's way too tall. It's like, like I'm a midget. <laughs> hey, Robert. <laughs> yeah, and if I take it? Well, look at this. Everyone's looking at how I am right now. <laughs> yeah, no, we had a good workout. We um, did chest and triceps, um, back and biceps, legs, shoulders. No, I'm just kidding. We did <laughs> chest and triceps and abs and cardio. Now I'm gonna be dropping this big boy off. Some all kinds of gains here. Oh, yeah. He has huge calves. You guys gotta see it one day. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I'm gonna be dropping Robert off, and then I'm gonna be headed home. Have one more meal. I have another meal for later on in the night. It's gonna be more so towards, I'd say, 10 o'clock. And then got work early in the morning, 9 o'clock to about 5. Then I'm gonna be making some more meals. So I'm gonna actually have to wake up at like, I'd say, 7:30 just to make these meals. I don't know yet if I'm gonna make ground beef or uh, chicken or sausage, we'll see.